guys, welcome back to this week's hashtag Fancy Hair Friday. Today's look is going to be a fun one, something that I am planning on wearing for 4th of July weekend, which is this weekend. So I am using a bandana that I have. I'm going to be going to Key West, so I know I'm going to be around the pool, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be either on the boat, on the pool, or just out in a picnic, whatever. Regardless, I'm going to share with you guys three different looks that I love to do with bandana, so I'm going to be using this one. This is a very small one, and I'm going to fold it like a triangle, and then I'm going to um, twirl it, but I want to do it inside. I want to make sure that the end is going towards the middle because when I do this hairstyle I don't want to have to worry about that little end being um, showing. So once you have your handkerchief or your bandana already rolled up and ready to go I am going to start with moving it under my head right below my neck or you know the like the nape of my neck I want my bangs to be to the back, so I'm going to do this. But I'll show you guys if you want to have your bangs out, you can do that. And then I'm going to, um, I want this to, the ends to be kind of to the side, so not completely straight. So I'm going to be using my bandana sideways. And then th this, if your bandana is shorter than mine, then you can just twirl it like this twice, and then just hide the ends and then maybe use like a hairpin on the end to kind of secure it in place but I am going to give it an actual knot so give me a second let me just make sure hold on I want to make sure I don't have any hairs caught in my knot so I'm going to do two knots see how here there and then these little ends, if, you, if it's shorter, I wouldn't mind leaving it out, but I think in this case, I am going to just tuck it in. And then for this look, you can also, um, if you wanna spread this out, the bandana out, you can also do that so it shows a little more. I wanted to leave it a little bit more thin. And then I, my hair like this. So if you um, want to leave your bangs out, this is the time that you would just pull it out. I personally, I think I'll leave it just like this, but not a lot. I don't want a lot of my bangs to come out. So this is look number one, super easy, right? Let's go for look number two. Okay, so for the next tutorial, I'm gonna be using my same bandana. And this time I'm going to put the back where you can see it. So I'm gonna start at the nape of my head and I'm just gonna put it right there. Let me just make sure my extensions are all covered. And now I'm going to tie it in the front again, but also like a little bit more angled. And do that. And then I'll do a second knot. It's not that angled, so hold that. Let me just, and then here I'm going to pull the hair down. And you see, it'll go down. And the last look is for those girls that are having way too much fun at the pool, way too much fun at the beach. You don't have time to waste on your hair, but you still want to look somewhat cute for that fireworks or whatever it is that you're going to be doing that night. So I got you, girl. You can either use an elastic, like a clear elastic, or you can use a rubber band or a scrunchie. I'm going to be using this because that's the only thing that's going to hold these extensions up. To the top of my head so I'm gonna start picking up my hair and bringing it all the way to the top you can bring it up as high as you want you can do it like a, just like a regular pony but I'm gonna show you what I would do if I'm in the same situation as you so let's get this hair up can see yes. and again I don't want the hairstyle to be too perfect because I feel like my hair, since I do have extensions, I can't really have them. I mean, I could if I really wanted to, but too polished. Um, if I start actually like brushing it too hard, it's going to look a little bumpy because I have the extensions, it's time for me to redo them. So I'm just gonna do like a very messy look. 
So I'm going to bring up my hair. And I'm going to leave the middle like this because I kind of want it to, if my bangs fall, I kind of want them to start falling to the side. So as you can see, it's bumpy, it's messy, but I'm okay with that. So I'm going to wrap it like this. And then I'm going to just wrap my hair into a, actually, let me do it again. too many hairs sticking out. So what I'm gonna do is just this and then use the clear elastic just to keep the bun somewhat secured. And then now the fun part. And then here like I would probably spray a little bit of hairspray just to kind of keep all these little flyaways tamed and then like probably use a bobby pin to keep the hairs up but with the same bandana, I'm just going to wrap it around one time. I'm not gonna leave it too thin, but I'm just gonna wrap it around two times. And then I'm going to leave um, the actual bow, I wanna leave it, or if you just do like a regular tie, I wanna leave it facing down. But you could leave it facing up. I think I look too girly if I do it. Up, so I'm gonna leave it to the bottom. I'll show you guys what it looks like Once I turn around but That's pretty much it you guys you can actually go in and start pulling the hair a little more I want to leave it just like this like I said, I'm gonna use a bobby pin just to pin the, the little hairs um, From the bottom just to keep them in tact and like in place and yeah, this is the third look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye!